G'day everyone, Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. Going for my morning ride, just to check out the solar panels and, and take in the fresh air. So what a day uh, Saturday was. We had the celebration of 50 years of renewable energy here at the co-op, at the at Murramura uh, Community Cooperative. And uh, we had about 140 people come. Uh, it was a wonderful mixture of some of my industry colleagues, uh, companies that have provided product here, like this here, the uh, Longji panels on the Arctic trackers, and so many more. Also lots of my former students, local renewable energy group enthusiasts, and much more. And for me, the highlight was uh, the surprise from uh, Selectronic. So Rod Scott, uh, one of the owners of Selectronic, presented me with a gold SP Pro, <laughs> literally painted gold. Uh, amazing. Ready, one, two, three. Aussie, 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 SP Pro. Oh, we got that in one take. <laughs> amazing. And uh, he was there with a team from Selectronic. We did a little bit of, <laughs> a few promo photos. That was fun. Um, also hearing lots of stories from other people. Uh, we had Peter Koch, one of the founders of Murumura, talking about the early days, um, how <laughs> renewable energy was very minimal back then, but they made a commitment not to connect to the grid. In fact, there was a protest to stop the grid coming across our property. We never wanted it. We didn't want to connect to it. We sort of lost that battle, but <laughs> got the police involved. Uh, <laughs> So Peter talked a bit about those days, but now renewable energy is uh, so affordable and abundant that uh, people who have the grid are even thinking, why do we have it? <laughs> it's kind of funny. So, what a day. Now I'd like to thank many of the companies that have made my Smart Energy Lab possible. Maybe I'll just put a list on the screen. <laughs> it's gonna be a long, long list. But it all started when I began teaching face-to-face -face here at the lab. A few companies uh, donated some equipment. In the, early, in the early days, it was Selectronic, straight up, uh, SMA, Schneider, uh, Victron, so those parties came along and provided product for my students to train on. Batteries from companies like Aquion, which have come and gone. Uh, Sun and Shine, uh, Narada. Those are the lead acid days. Now we have a whole range of chemistries, not just the uh, very popular lithium ion, but many others as well for energy storage. But on top of that, We've got a lot of other related products, so like these solar panels here. This is a solar panel testing center being built. Uh, some TW solar um, ground mount system. Uh, Sol Planet inverter. But also monitoring equipment from companies like Switched In, Reposit, uh, Solar Analytics. And we've also done some projects with companies that are allied to the renewable energy or energy markets such as Swan Technologies uh, with the cyber security platform that we're developing here at the Smart Energy Lab. So yeah, lots of things have been happening. Lots of companies have supported the lab through providing product and advice. And uh, it means that I can provide a lot of information, training, uh, and uh, sometimes help companies with understanding uh, the peculiarities of the Australian landscape when it comes to renewable energy, uh, our safety standards, our regulatory space, and what our market uh, likes in terms of product. So there you go. 50 years of renewable energy at Murumura Community Cooperative, and it's looking forward to another 50. <laughs> I reckon by then, it'll be a pretty boring topic. Everyone will be 
running on renewable energy. Probably because we won't have much choice. We've got to get there, we've got to do it. And what do you know, it started to rain. So, better get back to the lab. Oh well, ride to work, hey? Eh? <laughs>